Hi everyone, welcome, welcome back to the channel. My name is Claudia, if you're new here. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. If you are new, subscribe down below. The subscribe button is down below. It is red, you won't miss it. It is completely free. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about my journey of building in the rural areas in Zimbabwe. I chose something that is really personal to me. I'm really opening up myself, so do not judge me in the comment section below. I'm hoping that me sharing this story with you guys can also help someone embark on a journey to self-reflect and self-discover understand your purpose how you feel in that particular moment and your drive and also maybe combining your experiences that you've had in the past propelling you forward as a human being and as a person that can help other people around you a lot of my friends have asked me why i choose to live the way i live surprises a lot of people is a decision that surprises a lot of people of course i'm not married ding, ding, ding. i'm not married and um, i don't have any kids i have children and i'm building this place in the rural areas it's a journey of finding peace self-discovery basically living with intention i hope in this video you guys understand the choices that i've made and Perhaps it inspires you to also make the same choices or kind of live your life with intention and not based on societal expectations, pressures that we experience as people as we live in this world. Before I get into the video, I want to update you guys. Quick, quick story time. What is happening with the build? We did the septic tank and um, I moved on with the builder, the same builder that did the septic tank sana tell me why i almost cried i almost cried it's so tough doing a building project it's really 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 tough i gave this builder a plan so that he can calculate the materials required for the build all the way from footing box to slab walls and roofing and he gave me a full rundown of everything that is required and told me how much his labor will be we divided it into different parts according to the stages i i didn't say anything i just said okay and tell me why this man went ahead and started digging trenches i get there to show my friends the place and i find that there's someone is digging this person is digging in a place i did not approve that I that's where I want the house and it was such a stressful stressful thing that I've ever experienced my brain kind of froze I didn't know what to say because this person was um, almost like a subcontracted individual to dig the trenches for the builder because he came in and did the peg divided everything and then basically those guys were just following the um, the guidelines that he had drawn. So you get you get it. I, I I was just paralyzed. My mind was paralyzed. I didn't know what to do. I couldn't sleep for like two days, two days straight. So yeah, that is what is happening. Uh, we ended up resolving that whole issue. But yeah, that's the only update that I have for you right now. I'll give you another update when we start when we do the footing ne? i hope i hope it helps i hope it helps that each that I, that each of what's going on there by the project yeah i hope i've scratched that each so let's talk about why i am choosing to build away from the hustle and bustle of the city i grew up in the city i grew up ekasi and it's not the kind of environment that i want to start a family in i gravitate towards a lot more peaceful scenic vibes rural and kind of like countryside vibes 
that is what I personally gravitate towards. The peace in the rural areas allows you to be free, allows you to slow down and live mindfully. The sound of the birds chirping in the morning and the leaves rustling, the wind blowing, get to feel a lot of things and this is a reminder of how simple life is can be living alone is something that i've always loved i've always been the kind of a loner person and that is how i found my creative groove the joys of creating something from my mind and just bringing it to life that is my favorite thing to do as a hobby as a job i absolutely love creating i i enjoy my solitude so much I'm not the kind of person who's going to go and, you know, chit chat with a neighbor and, you know, giggle and kikiki about things. That's just not me, you know. So I never found the um, sense of belonging and community in the city. I've always gravitated towards people in the rural areas. So after I finish the build, I'm going to be living alone. But does that mean I'm going to be lonely? I don't think so. I think it simply means that I am someone who has embraced my solitude and I am comfortable living in in that peace of being alone and not caring too much about the world judging why I live alone or things like that. And there's something empowering about being self-sufficient, being able to grow your own food, being able to make your own money, being able to help other people that you see are in um in need in the community and kind of extend your hand and help other people. I think that is the goal for me and I'm so excited. I cannot wait to take you guys along. The choosing to have to have no children right now is very much attached and linked to my finances because it is extremely expensive to have a child raise that child i'm a freelance worker it means that i would have to take time off work to dedicate that time to the child it's a lot of time and it means that the amount of money that i'm making will go down yet my expenses have gone up so it doesn't make any economic sense for me to be doing that right now in my culture as a black person it is frowned upon i think i've seen a lot of people on social media that are child free i'm not saying i'm child free or i want to have kids like a burning desire i don't have a burning desire I think maybe the burning desire will come with the right time, the right person and the right finances and me being ready emotionally, mentally and wanting choosing to do that. Maybe I do not know, but in this particular moment I'm talking about my decision based on my finances and how I'm doing emotionally and mentally. This is what I I'm choosing to go for. So this is not me bashing women that have chosen to have kids at a young age or maybe in an unfortunate situation or maybe you are in a good situation. I'm not bashing you in any way. Each to their own. If you feel like motherhood or fatherhood is is is, is the right thing for you to do. What am I saying? Motherhood. I'm talking about women here because motherhood and fatherhood in my own opinion completely different fatherhood is the easiest thing to do especially in our culture it's the easiest thing to do because more of the responsibility lies with the woman not the guy not the man okay so motherhood and fatherhood for me personally i think it's different facing judgment from friends and family i've got a lot of family members that have gotten married that ask me when are you getting married Uh, when are you going to have kids do you know that your biological clock is up it's running yeah you, you don't have that much time you're turning 32 da, 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 da. my response is usually i don't know i 
don't know when I'm having kids. Someone asked me, I don't know. Um, when are you going to get married? I don't know. I don't know. I honestly don't know. When the right time comes, everything is just going to work out. Everything is just going to fall into place. What business do I have having kids and I don't have a house? What business do I have having kids and I don't have a car to drive them around? What business do I have having kids if I don't have money? You, you just need money. Especially for motherhood, you need money. That's the only thing I'm going to say. I'm just going to drop it in there. You need money. That's the thing. Motherhood, money. You need money for motherhood. People will always have opinions, but you have to realize that at the end of the day, you are the writer of your story. You are the creator of your life. You get to choose exactly what makes you feel good in a particular moment. So people's opinions shouldn't really shape you. You should be only concerned about how you feel your morals are you living a life that fulfills you are you pursuing your passions are you happy i think that's the most important thing i'm not going to unpack everything that i have experienced in life that is the reason why there's therapy and i don't want to be the person that is oversharing too much on youtube or anywhere online but all I'm going to say is we are all experiencing life in a different way. Kind of like a book. We are all pages in that book. But as you flip through the other page, you see something different. You see something different. So that is how each and every individual in this world is experiencing life. So we cannot expect the next person to have the same desires, exactly the same needs and wants that we, everything that we are going through so i think we just need to give each other grace and allow people to make their own decisions let them be and just let them shine in their own way i found so much contentment in this life the simplicity of the rural life the joys of solitude and the freedom of choosing my own path has given me peace that I've never had before and I've also started my education with UNICAF. UNICAF offers partial scholarships to students all over the world. British accredited a higher education qualification that you get online. You don't have to leave your job in order to get the qualification. There are monthly intakes, so you don't have to wait for a semester in order to start your program. Just click the link in the description box below to get to your scholarship application. As soon as you're done, a student advisor will contact you and guide you through the application process. The peace in the rural areas are... What? <laughs> Woo!